hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel this is jesse lee so today we are going to talk about what i am going to pack in my hospital bag i am currently 38 weeks and i will be due april 7th which is only two weeks from now so maybe that's why you haven't seen me filming because <laughs> i've been so busy trying to pack things up trying to get all of these things ready to have this baby. I know that this content doesn't really apply with everyone, but I know there are a lot of new moms out there or to be moms who are just trying to get everything ready and they need a video that's helpful for them to pack their hospital bag. So if you're interested in knowing what I'm packing for the hospital, please hang around. When it comes to hospital bags, it's very subjective. You can bring whatever you like, whatever that makes you comfortable. You don't need to pack for a month or a week. Typically, especially during this COVID time, um, they usually just want you in and then out. They don't want you to be in there long unless you need the service for, say, if you have like a C-section or if you have difficulties, then they'll probably keep you longer. But during these times, they usually just want you in, have your baby, and, you know, have you out healthy and baby healthy. Everything's good. So from the booklet and what the hospital would typically recommend you to bring, I'll just read it right out from this booklet. You can bring a camera, heavy socks, or slippers, bed pillow, remember snacks for your partner. If you have a spouse or a support person, make sure that they bring everything they need because they'll be right there with you. Anything that they need to keep them comfortable because I'm a, I hate to say it, but nurses won't tell you this. They don't really take care of your spouse or your partner while you're in the hospital. They'll have to just tend for themselves because they're really just looking after the mom and the baby. The next thing is to bring a robe or a nightgown, hard candy or sour lollipops to keep you from being thirsty um, because sometimes you might not be able to drink water. <laughs> Lip balms so that way your lips are not dry, body lotion. You can bring music that you like. Um, elastic hair bands, toiletries, like mouthwash, shampoo, toothbrush, toothpaste, um, deodorant, hairbrush, makeup, things like that for your hygiene. And, um, change for the vending machines, but I noticed that nowadays we use cards to swipe, so I don't think you need to worry about that. You can bring formula just in case you want to use formula right away for your baby. Um, use a pacifier, bring a pacifier if you want to for your baby. Um, but if you are planning on breastfeeding, you don't need to do that. A going home outfit for you. Make sure that it's loose and baggy. Um, because after you give birth, you're not going to, you know, go back to your post baby figure in a snap. It'll take about six months to a year to recover. So baggy clothes are still comfortable. There's, they should still be in for you. Infant car seat is the number one thing that you will definitely need. And that should be the number one thing on your list. Your baby cannot leave the hospital without a baby car seat. Um, and that's the law. Make sure that you bring a going home outfit for your baby. So this booklet was very helpful. Make sure that you ask for tons and tons of information. Don't leave your doctor office without a baby's folder. I recommend it. You need to read, read, read. Even though if you don't like reading, you can at least watch videos on YouTube. That's fine too. But I just find that these things are very helpful because they're straight from the doctor. They're just, they're not opinionated. They're not made up. They're not just coming out of someone else's mouth that are not in the medical field, you know, or someone that's just talking from experiences because everyone experience are different. Just some things that I do to prepare myself for the arrival of my baby. 
I create a list and just a very short list. It includes what I want to have in my hospital bag when I go shopping. So that way I just have a checklist. I bought this, I bought that, out of the way, done. I also try to make a to-do list of what to watch. So that way I can better take care of my baby. So some things that I put down are like changing newborn diapers. Of course, um, I have helped my sister change my nephew diapers before as a um, infant, but that's been a while and I just want to make sure that I'm doing it correctly. But changing diapers should be easy. I wanted to watch a video to see how you can bathe, safely bathe a newborn because I know that um, the first month they don't really need baths. But if you are to take a bath for them, you need to be extra gentle and careful. And then um, how to mix formula would be a good video to watch. I know the directions are pretty easy on the back, but I'm a visual person. So I like to watch how, um, how the formula should be mixed. So that way I'm not getting it wrong. You know, every new moms think that when your baby comes out, your milk start coming out right away and the baby just latch. I, that's a dream. I'm pretty worried about whether my baby will latch or not. Uh, my sister, from her own experience, have told me that her baby didn't latch and she was only able to breastfeed for just one month and she wanted to do that longer but she couldn't. So if you are a mom who's passionate about breastfeeding, having your child breastfed, make sure that you are educated um, in breastfeeding and learning how to breastfeed properly, um, making sure that the child, the baby latches. And um, if you're having issue, make sure that your doctors or hospital that you are facilitated with have a program to help you after you deliver. Um, make sure that they offer support with breastfeeding and um, they can have someone that you could talk to or helpline to help you or train you in that um, area of breastfeeding. So let's say that it's time for you to go in and give birth and you know for sure that you are in labor and it's time to go. Make sure that you have a loose dress or a comfortable outfit planned out for you to go into the hospital so you're not running out in the middle of the night in your PJs. Here I am going to wear this dress. I know it's not anything sexy or, you know, it's far from what I'm used to, but it is very comfortable and it fits my third trimester body. I got this dress from Target. I purchased it for only $6 <laughs> because I know that who knows when I'm going to be pregnant again. The next thing that I have are my slippers. Now make sure they are slides where you can glide your feet right in. And the hospital floors are pretty cold. So have these slides ready. I bought mine from Forever 21. Fluffy and cute. Uh, very comfortable and you know it has good grips at the bottom so I don't trip and fall right after giving birth that wouldn't be good I don't have anything against granny panties but I'm not re ready to slip them on until I'm old so here are these panties and pads um, they're available at Walmart I just feel like you can just you know Buy these instead of buying the granny panties and then the huge pads yep make sure that you have enough of the witch hazel and the aloe vera on top of the pads and put them in the freezer and that they're nice and cool so in my makeup bag I am bringing the LA Pro face matte press powder I don't want to look like a ghost and mascara some blush I 
I also bought some Glamnetic eyelashes. Um, these ones are pretty easy to just use the black liner and put the lashes on. They're magnetics. I don't need glue or anything. If I decide to take a pretty picture with my baby, I'll need these. I mean, you know, people might say, what are you doing putting on lashes while you're in labor or giving birth? Well, I really want a nice picture with my baby, so if given the chance, I'll slide these lashes on. I bought concealers, so that way I don't look like a zombie. When I meet my baby girl, I'm just a little extra. I might not need any of these makeup. I'm just bringing them, you know, just to kind of like feel like myself for a little bit. But if you are not a makeup person, you can totally skip this part. You don't need to know what I have in my makeup bag. These are just some ideas. I'm not bringing my whole makeup desk. I am a minimalist when it comes to packing um, for makeup. And I bought my um, brow pencil just to touch up my brows. And of course, if I'm bringing blush, I have to have my blush brush with me. My lipstick. And it's in the shade Newly Interrupted. Um, it's just like a neutral color. Very, very cute. I got this whole bag from Ulta last summer. And it has everything all in one. Makeup wipes. Makeup remover. And a poreless face primer for before I apply my face powder. And if you're... A person big on makeup, yeah, you should have a little makeup bag. But you can totally skip packing makeup because, you know, you're going to go through pain. And obviously, you're going to have your baby. Probably won't be looking your best, but you will definitely be looking your happiest. Aside from the slippers, I also bought socks. Two nursing bras from Sheen. And one looks like this. And the other one looks like this. I love how Sheen has like these nursing bras that are so comfortable where it just pops out. And when you're done breastfeeding, it pops back in. Like that, just button it back in like that. Pretty cool. A belt for mom. You know, just to tie in and get your waist back. Next up, I have a personal hospital gown that I could wear. It's advised that you bring some, you know, nipple cream because your body it has just been adjusted to giving birth to a human and now you have to breastfeed and your breasts might hurt and you might need some nipple cream. Don't go and hop in the shower and take a regular shower like you would every day right away. Just wipe. Wipe where you need to wipe. And um, clean yourself up just a little bit. You don't need a whole shower or a whole bath. Again, it's not recommended because it can get you sick. To leave the hospital, I'm not leaving with a dress. I am going home in my sweatpants and sweatshirt very loose and comfortable as of right now she doesn't know what i'm talking about she is still baking in there i really hope that she comes out on her due date so that way there are no surprises but of course you know when it comes to these things i can't decide she does oh look how cute her headband is just, you know, putting it on top of her head. Her cute little polka dot outfit. Very simple. I bought my contact case. Contact solutions. A brand new toothbrush. Some Listerine. And my comb. So that is all that I have in my hospital bag. And what I have written on the list when I went shopping. Also, guys, I did not put my stuff 
in a bag. I actually stuffing it in a luggage. It's very portable. It has wheels and I just, I, I just roll it instead of, you know, carrying a bag because uh, most likely I, I'll be carrying my baby outside the hospital when we're done delivering. Just going through what I have for my hospital bag. The next video that you'll see me in, I'll probably be having my baby already. I hope that you find this video helpful. And if you did, please give it a nice thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button to my channel. I wish you guys all the best and please stay well and stay safe.